Vocal cords aren't the only way a person can create sounds with their mouth. You want the kid to learn to burp his way through his conversation? I don't think it would be possible to sustain enough air output. To... It was a joke, Murphy. Oh. Snoring is a better model anyway. Soft palate tissue is what vibrates making the sound when people snore, but it's not stiff enough to replace the vocal cords. But we could use his own costal cartilage to act as vocal cords. The larynx is a complicated piece of anatomy, basically a tiny musical instrument. We can remove two of his ribs to create the anterior and posterior larynx frame and then stretch the cartilage across it. And then cut open a trachea we worked so hard to close. We could destroy everything we just fixed. Yes. I think it's worth the risk. Because you're thinking the kid's like you, that he needs to speak out loud to be understood. She's right. The larynx is like a musical instrument. But if Bo Diddley can make a guitar out of a cigar box, I'm pretty sure I can make a larynx from bone and cartilage. <sighs> Absolutely not. He's finally healthy. There's no need to take any more risks. You're right. There are definitely risks, but I wouldn't present the option if I didn't think we could manage them. Couldn't we just wait until he's a few years older? I assume the stronger he is, the safer it is. Most verbal language development happens within the first eight years of a child's life. Corey's already 10. If we wait any longer, he may not be able to learn to speak even with a larynx. He can communicate without speaking. You're making a big mistake, Murphy. He'll always be limited. It'll be difficult to make friends, to interact with strangers. Murphy, that's enough. They're aware of their options, and they've made their decision. I'm going to make you a surprise dinner tonight. It's a special grilled cheese sandwich. It's special because it uses four kinds of cheeses, Gruyere, Parmesan, yellow. I don't think that we should be together anymore. Mm -hmm. I can't be your girlfriend anymore. Did. Did. I do something wrong? No, Sean, it's not. Last night at karaoke, when you and Leah were singing together, there was something between you two. You love her, not me. Oh, no. 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 I don't. It's obvious. You're wrong. You say that. And maybe you even believe it. I saw what I saw, Sean, and I am telling you, it doesn't matter what you say. It's true. And I think she loves you, too. You should tell her how you feel.
off the car? No. Yeah. Sean, Sean! I need your permission. Sean, no. I need no, your no, permission. Sean. It can't be over. Over, you have to let Carly go. No, you have to let Carly go. No, you have to let Carly go. It's not about Carly. Well, it's not about this it's either. It's not about He's Carly. calling the police. No. You'll get arrested. Oh. Oh my God, Sean, are you okay? It was bad, I missed my surgery. Well, don't worry about that, Park's there. Everything there is fine. Will I have to go back to jail? No, no. It's a good thing you were with the next cop. The guy's not gonna press any charges, but you're not allowed to be anywhere near him ever again. Here, let's get out of here, huh? Mark says that you are upset about Carly. Everyone keeps telling me that, but I am not upset about Carly, and they need to stop. Okay, so this isn't about Carly. I wish Carly didn't break up with me, but she did, and now I have to do what she said. What do you mean you have to do what she said? She doesn't get to dictate to she you. She told me to tell Leah I love her. Oh. And you're afraid of what might happen if you told Leah the truth? If I tell her I love her, and she tells me she doesn't, then I can't be her boyfriend. And even worse, I... I don't think I can be her friend either. And what if Leah were to say, you know what, Sean, I love you too. Sean? What's up, Johnny? Sean, please talk to me. I love you, Leah. I want to be your boyfriend. I love you too. But you know me. I am selfish and I am so, so needy. I, I'm, I mean, listen to me right now. I can't even put a complete sentence together. I mean, I'm a total mess. How? How am I supposed to, you know, just lay all of that on you? Why do you think I can't handle your selfishness, neediness, and messiness? I think I can. It's just... I am a challenge for anyone, and you're you, and I just know it would be too hard for you. You need things a certain way, you work in a certain way, and... Because I have autism? You... I don't want to be my girlfriend because I have autism. 